Here in the office today, we have a watch from AV8 celebrating the Tuskegee Airmen. Uh, now we've taken a look at a Tuskegee Airmen watch from AV8 in the recent past, but they just came out with a newer iteration. It's time to get hands on with the Flyboy Tuskegee Airmen Limited Edition Toretto. Uh, now these are limited to 1195 pieces. Let's open up this baby and take a look at what's inside. It is 12.44 p.m., let's get down to business. All right, so we took it out of the packaging. I removed some of the protective plastic. Uh, we can see, ooh, some nice, actually, reflection showing off the bluish hue of that AR coating. Uh, and we do see a kind of textured pattern uh, on that dial. We see some red, white, and blue. We see a case back engraving. Uh, limited edition, this is 000 out of 000 because this is a media watch. Uh, and this watch is very, very light. Uh, this is a mecha quartz movement um, uh, inside the watch, so we're not getting any you know, rotor or any uh, mechanics to weigh this down. Uh, we do see some striping uh, on that uh, second hand. And it does give off kind of an aeronautical uh, vibe, uh, you know, old school World War II paint uh, on, uh, you know, the, the fighter planes. <clears throat> very, very cool. We see a Tuskegee Airman logo or insignia, I should say. And uh, around the Rio, uh, we see some white and red showing off the Tuskegee Airman signage there. Uh, very, very cool. Let's go ahead and jump into the specs. All right, guys, taking a look at this watch, it is 40 millimeters on the button for the case diameter, 12.5 millimeters thick, 48 millimeter lug to lug. Uh, it does have new light uh, loom on it. We're gonna test that out in a moment. Uh, we're getting a mineral crystal, okay guys? Now it does have anti-reflective coating and that again was that kind of bluish hue uh, coming from some of the uh, flecto at the beginning of this episode. Push-pull crown with a 50 meter water resistance rating um, and it weighs 90 grams. Now when you order this from AVA, you are getting a two year international warranty and this is being released at 299 US buckaroos. So now that we know the overall specs, let's kind of jump into the pros and cons before I start gushing about this watch. There's things I like about it, there's things I dislike about it. Let's get into it. All right, first pro, the dimensions are great. All right, I have just over seven and a half inch wrists and this thing wears very, very nicely. It's not cumbersome at all. It lays flat and uh, it's just, you know, very, very wearable. It doesn't encompass the entirety of my wrist. Uh, the lugs aren't hanging over my wrists. I feel like this is wearable for a multitude of different sized people and arms. Uh, so yeah, first pro would have to be just great dimensions. We can see a signed buckle. Uh, yeah, just a very comfortable watch. Another thing I really love about this watch is that there's a whole lot to look at. I mean, we're getting up close. We see the textured pattern on the dial. We see the chapter ring, how it's actually applied atop uh, that textured dial, giving off a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more depth and shadow here. Uh, and then even though there's a lot to look at and there's a lot of interesting design cues coming from different textures and dynamics. This is actually one of the more tame releases from AV8 and I really do appreciate that. I mean, they have some kind of out there watches and then they have some watches like this that are a bit more everyday wearable. And this is something I actually would pull off the shelf and put on my wrist day to day. So that's the next kind of pro is that this is actually something I personally really would wear. The next pro is that this is definitely a functional uh, bezel as far as the ratcheting positive nature of it. It's not gonna back out on you. I'm really tugging on this thing and there's not much play. Uh, so yeah, very positive ratcheting. So this bezel, I give thumbs up uh, and it is certified for my P50 
pizza roll timing endeavors. Uh, yeah, I dig it, good job. The final pro would be the price point. So at under 300 bucks, I think it's pretty reasonable, especially if you're interested in the history uh, that this watch is celebrating. You know, this is a mecha quartz movement, it's not mechanical. Uh, this is, you know, a mineral crystal, it's not sapphire. This is a push-pull crown uh, with a 50 meter water resistance rating. This isn't a dive watch. And I think for under $300 for a celebration piece, uh, I think that that is very reasonable, especially because this is a quite quite a handsome watch, especially when we're talking about AV8 who has a lot of out there designs. This is very tame, very day-to-day -day wearable, and uh, yeah, I dig it. Okay, so we're gonna burn the dial up a little bit with my flashlight here. The loom on the handset, incredibly vibrant. Uh, the loom around the bezel isn't bad, uh, but the indexes definitely aren't playing as well. They aren't hitting as hard as the handset there. So yeah, this is definitely not the worst loom I've ever seen, and the handset is actually quite good. But the watch isn't perfect, so we gotta jump into the cons. Now, the first con is that this strap, uh, it's not great. It is not great. It's just, it's, uh, you're gonna wanna change this out. And speaking of wanting to change the strap out, of course I'm going to complain about uh, the lack of drilled lugs because the strap is just very flimsy. Uh, it's, it's, you know, again, this is a under $300 watch. Uh, it doesn't feel very supple. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, I mean, they have to cut costs somewhere to be able to offer this at the price that they do. And uh, the great thing about watches is you can just swap out the straps to a strap that you'd like. I think that this would be really cool on a <coughs> NATO. I don't know if we can say that word anymore. We'll just say a nylon strap. I think this would be very at home. Um, so yeah, that, that would be the final con is that I'm just not a fan of the factory strap or how it feels. And that's not really something I can convey totally over ca the camera. You really just gotta feel it. But what you need to know is if you get this watch, just swap out the strap and you're good to go. All in all, this AV8 is another awesome celebration of some true heroes. You know, it's a good looking watch, it's fun, and it's kind of exactly what we expect from AV8. An aviation themed, very interesting, uh, you know, cool watch that has uh, affordable characteristics released at an affordable price point. And uh, you know, you, you definitely have to be in the market for these kinds of watches, but they're a very consistent watchmaker. And every time they release something, I'm excited because again, they are a very fun uh, watchmaker. So yeah, guys, I'll leave a link to the information about this watch in the description below. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments section because I will answer you there. And uh, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time telling. Always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.